Cosmic Chaos. The World 2 Carnival Finals are about to begin and all contestants are preparing. In this room, Kite met with Dr. Mr. Hartland. No hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just checking to see if everything is alright. I'm fine, Hartland. Now that so many numbers have gathered in Hartland City, things are really hitting up. So it goes without saying that I appreciate that you're dueling for me. Dueling for Hart, now you understand. Hart, me, does it really matter? As long as you get all the numbers, that's what counts. Soon after the finals began, Dexter confronted Vectris in order to protect Kite. Vectrix planned to use the World Duel Carnival in order to take revenge on Dr. Faker. Vectrix, I don't know what your goal is in this tournament, but I'm not letting you duel Kite. Aw, uh, why do you care so much about what happens to him? Because I care about him, that's why. Well, isn't that precious? Dexter was defeated and Vectrix used his special abilities to Dexter's memories. Meanwhile, Kite and Yuma finally got the answers from Quentin. It's fitting that the three of us should meet now. Destiny has clearly brought us together. Tell me where my father is. Alright, before Kite and I duel, I'll tell you everything I know about your father. You can share your story some other time. I want to duel now. It can wait. The story that I'm about to tell concerns you as well. Perhaps it will help you understand my family's actions. About why we are competing in the duel carnival and targeting Kite and his brother Hart. The answer is that they are linked to our real enemy. We seek revenge against their father, Dr. Faker. Dr. Faker is Kite and Hart's father. You mean the same guy you built up Heartland? It began five years ago. Dr. Faker and my father, Byron Arclight, were working together in search of a door that could lead to other worlds. Yuma, they contracted your father to help them with their calculations and finding the portal. With their combined knowledge, they were able to find the location. They immediately went there only for Dr. Faker to betray the other two. Faker needed to sacrifice two souls in order to open the portal, which is exactly what he did. My father couldn't believe how Faker betrayed them. That was the last time he saw my father, too. But one day, my father did return. He found a way to travel through interdimensional gaps until he reaches this world again. However, there was a price. His appearance became warped until it was no longer recognizable. My father now calls himself Vetrix. That he was a kid. It's all Faker's fault. He betrayed my father, and I've sworn to someday get revenge. This doesn't change anything. Dr. Faker means nothing to me. I only care about heart. Getting even for what you did? Move away, Yuma. I forgot what you're using. Alright, full time. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. Sure. 
Game. Oh, game. Mm. <laughs> I thought you had a lot, I thought you had a backup plan. Did you know that there are things more powerful than revenge? Deep down, I always knew that was true. But today you helped me remember it, Kite. At first, I was hoping that I could save my father, but Byron Arclight really had become someone else. Vetrix was obsessed with this desire to get revenge against Dr. Faker. I got caught up in his plans for vengeance. I felt it was my duty as his son. It isn't. Once I save Hart, I'm going to control my father. And not only that, I'll do what you couldn't do. I'll stop Vetrix's quest for revenge just like you wanted. Grown strong, Kite. I'm proud to have been your teacher. Goodbye, Kite. Goodbye. So much sharks.
So one more with Sharks. The next WDC match began. It was the final showdown between Shark and Quattro. Shark meant to take revenge for her sister's defeat. I finally caught up with you. You got you get you get tired of running? From you, please. You played right into my hands. Yes, I'll pop in. Three level fours? Holy crap, man. It's just a case. Fourteen. Just a stop saying. That's not gonna help. I don't know. for the damage from free to rebash monsters. Okay. 
What's happening? I'm confused. Oh, it's just a show much stuff. Connection in the field. As long as I have another one of those, I should be fine. Ah, man.
Did I something? I think you were there, you guys. Oh, nice last turn. Got it. Shark, I'm so sorry about everything. Yeah, right, after everything you pulled, you have to believe me, it was all because of Vetrix. I never should have followed his orders, but I did. When I did, your sister Vetrix forced me to use a powerful card. It's because of that card that she wound up hurt. I felt terribly about what had happened. I never meant to hurt her, but that's what Vetrix planned. As a son, I don't, I didn't think and just did what my father asked. Please, Shark, bring my father back. <laughs> 